after shock, disappointment and condemnation that followed IOC's decision to suspend the Russian Olympic Committee from 2018 Winter Games, Russia is trying to figure out what to do next. The IOC has set out conditions for individual Russian athletes willing to compete in South Korea. They need to have a crystal clear doping record and undergo all the tests recommended by the IOC's pre-games testing task force. Some Russian politicians are denouncing the IOC's ban as politically motivated and urging athletes to think twice before turning away from their national team and flag. Of course, it should be an athlete's own decision, but they should not forget where they're from. Others say Russia should consider all legal measures to defend its clean athletes. We should give a chance to our athletes and help Russian sportsmen to get to the Olympics and at the same time work on protecting the reputation of the National Olympic Committee. But Russia may have little options, as it is not clear where and how the IOC ban could be appealed, if at all. The Kremlin says emotions must be put aside and that a serious analysis of the IOC's decision is needed before any steps are taken. The sports community is divided, though many renowned athletes and coaches insist clean Russian athletes should be given a chance to go to Pyeongchang. I can thank today the IOC for allowing Russian athletes to participate in the Olympics because they have only one life and maybe only one Olympics. If the former sports minister knew how to run the selection correctly, I think we would not have such problems. Russia, meanwhile, remains non-compliant with WADA's anti-doping code. Russia's Olympic Committee has called on all would-be Olympic athletes, their coaches and heads of sports federations together at the headquarters here on the 12th of December to decide whether Russian sportsmen will skip or participate in the 2018 Winter Games, even if under a neutral flag. Darya Bondarchuk, CGTN, Moscow.